Joe, you were at the game last night, Steve's first, Steve Cottrell's first one in charge. It was a massive transformation what we've seen in previous weeks, wasn't it? It really was. It was a, a fantastic game and a fantastic result for Birmingham. But what is even better than everything was the performance. The performance not only surprised me, I'm sure it surprised a lot of the Birmingham City supporters and I'm sure it surprised the manager because to have a performance like that after losing 6-1 up at uh, uh, Hull, um, uh, it was a fantastic result, fantastic performance. It, 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 it had lots of things that I've not seen in a Birmingham City side. There was work rate, endeavour, uh, the, 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 the commitment, everything, the tackling. They were first to the ball. They, they wanted that ball more than, certainly more than Cardiff did. And um, it, was a, it, it was just an, out, uh, an outstanding performance from every individual, from uh, uh, Thomas Kuzak right, right up to Shea Adams, the, the, the whole team was excellent, absolutely fantastic. You've been around this club for many, many years, but that's what the fans should expect, and that's what they've always expected. So when it happens, we shouldn't be surprised, should we? Because that's what we deserve on that level. That's what the Birmingham City supporters over the years, the 70s, the 80s, was hard work and work rate and commitment. Uh, the Birmingham City players were the heart on the sleeve. They fight and they battle, and, and, and they want to get a, a winning result against the opposition. But sadly, that's been lacking over the last, say, 18 months, that, that commitment, that desire, that uh, enthusiasm, being first to the ball, that, that's what we've always needed and we've seen it last night and after, after 10 minutes, after 20 minutes of the game, uh, I sat back and I thought, wow, what a difference, this is absolutely fantastic. OK, they didn't keep up uh, 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 for the 90 minutes, they have to drop off a little bit because the opposition come into play, uh, but, but uh, take nothing away from Cardiff, they're a very, very good side, they're very strong, very organised, but the Birmingham City lads just played absolutely outstanding, every one of them, the, 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 two, mid, the two central defenders were absolutely perfect, uh, Robertson, Morrison, the midfield, um, uh, David Davis was the best best performance I've seen David Davis have for about 18 months um, he, he was up he was battling he was fighting he wanted to win that ball and that's what we he's been lacking the last few months um, we've seen that last night Kefton Beld was also given 100% worked very very hard battled he fought for his men and up front Shea Adams uh, uh, was worked very very hard and Vassell Vassell's pace was absolutely outstanding he, the first 20 minutes he was leading even the, the, the Cardiff defence for dead, he was absolutely brilliant. Um, so th the most important thing for me as a professional is that the next game, can we take that performance into the next game uh, 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 in, in a few weeks' time, uh, in a few days' time? Um, yeah, we need to do that. That's most important that they, they, they play uh, uh, a great performance again. It's been a long two weeks without a game, but Steve Cox has been very busy. From an outsider looking in, you could really see that it's working hard, and hopefully that progress can now continue. Well, if, if strangers were at a game last night, they one of the teams was top of the division, and one of the teams was very nearly to the bottom of the division. I'm sure that strange visitor wouldn't have known which team was which because Birmingham certainly matched Cardiff City. But yes, that they, they, they have to keep playing like that. Um, they've worked. I think Steve's had them for about two weeks in training. I heard one little rumour that all he's done is run them, run them, run them. I'm really not too sure about that. Um, I'm sure Steve being Steve, he's a very, very good manager. He has a good record. He's managed about six or seven football clubs um, and he gets the best out of his players and he's worked individually with players. I'm sure in the last two weeks, the two central defenders, the two full backs, the couple of three or four midfield players and the guys up front. He's put work individually into them players. So I'm sure that we're seeing the input that Steve Cottrell is having.